I'll probably pick that up. Okay, okay. Okay.
Thank you so much. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of a making a, a couple a thing louder, which is this microphone. Um, thanks to everybody for coming out to the show. Um, Thank it's you. It's really a tremendous pleasure to be here at the Kindercore record pressing plant, um, holding a microphone, um, hanging out with all of y'all. So it's great. Uh, um, there's a lot of beautiful records on the walls. They are many different colors. Um, I think. Um, oh, is that better? Uh, I think it's a little. Uh, uh, no, well, that's good. Uh, uh, you want to try this one? Maybe it's just, oh, that's good. Okay. Okay. No, I think it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hello? Hello? Is, that, is it too much? Okay. 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 Is it true? Is it true much? Um, too much um, truth. Try our new fragrance, true much. <laughs> it's on sale back there. Um, this is really fun. I'm having a lot of fun. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, maybe. I'm just gonna turn down my mic. No. Oh. <laughs> no. Um. Your sound crew is awesome. Oh, okay, good stuff. All right. So, um, this is a song about the moon. Thank you so much. So we're on the third day of a tour um, of the of the southeastern United States. Um, and something that I was thinking about about the southeastern United States is about like in the last year, like so many fucking like horrible statues that celebrate white supremacy have been taken down. Yeah. Right. And it's really fucking great. And it's been taken down by like fucking grassroots people doing awesome shit and doing great work. And um, in the city where I currently live in New Orleans that is trying to be claimed by the person who was the governor at the time, or not the governor, the mayor, when they came down. And so I was thinking about how, like, there's so many monuments to white supremacy that we, like, walk around all the time and, like, that are super normalized. I mean, I could speak to my own experience that I have, like, not recognized or super fucked up, you know, including, like, every, like, textbook that I ever had in school. Um, and so, um, so, yeah, so this song is about that, and it's about, like, thinking about, um, like, myself as, like, a white person who's been raised in that, and, and what we're gonna do next. Stacey Abrams! <sighs>
Okay, thanks very much. Um, Can you guys hear everything okay? Like levels and stuff? Sweet. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of caveats for this song. We can talk about it later if you want to.
Thank you so much. Um, is this the right note for this? I was looking at photos from when we were young <coughs> Your hair is light blue and you're smiling in one And it's a strange remembrance brought on by this semblance But we were so serious, shy and experienced Oh, so unsure of ourselves Making mistakes without anyone's help And I thought of the ways I remember you well Some sweet recollection of redwoods and raspberry vines And boys, we wrote postcards to numerous times The uncertainty then, like some sentence of sin Punctuated by moments of tenderness When there were long conversations Sharing a bed and walks home from swimming pools, giddy, impressionable, but distance grew up like the night. Decisions or silence or preemptive flight. Yeah, the queer kids I knew, we did tend to be shy. And your parents, they could not get over their shit. They spoke of how all their ambitions were split But they still let you in And tried to pretend Now you let them refer to your lovers as friends And I wish they could see how it hurts Or affirm your existence with interested words Yeah, that self-obsession's the patriarchal curse People you found You grew into yourself With those weirdos around Late nights talking at home The dance until dawn Or driving all day Cause you're sick of the phone Yeah, the good ones They tend to leave town It helps to write letters And say, come on down Yeah, I'm so much better When you're around On your old clothes We don't talk all that often Whoever does But I'll visit you soon And sing you a tune By finding your family Somewhere in the ruins Of the expectations We once knew we try to make peace with our patriarchs too. Woo! Thanks. I was thinking though about I, the coda there is that um, like making peace with our patriarchs is not like like easy, right? And, and it doesn't necessarily even have to like be a priority. I don't want to tell you what to do. I don't know. It's fucking complicated. I, which we always know and then really are thinking about a lot right now, if you're me. Um. Okay. Mississippi swells unknown. Ever drawing lines to another time to the sirens of Chicago. Yeah. 
The bus stations on the blocks between the shops, lights flicker on and off and on. My imagination too travels those streets, thinking of places and the people that we meet, and conversations of strangers on bus seats.
Okay, this is a song about hanging out with all the buddies in Athens, Georgia, going down to the Ville Pool, hanging at Grady and Defoe's. Fucking. Thanks. It's such a tremendous treat to get to play a show at Grape Soda. Um, sadly, we don't get to play like 10 shows with them, but we do get to play 10 shows with Bad Moves. Um, and you, you certainly already know this, but they have a new record that just came out, and um, I listen to it all the time. And you can do that too after you get it after the show in the back. Just up on my head. Um, this song was originally written about um, deportation detention centers, um, and like obviously there's a bunch of really fucked up shit going on about that now, and obviously there was four years ago, and it's like so much worse. But the more that I think about it, I really just want the takeaway from this to be like, like this conversation about like private prisons and immigration centers, and, like also like it all has to go, and like public prisons, like it all just has to fucking go, and we need to like end it and do everything in our power to make that happen. Um, so that's the takeaway.
the post we hold Contract your heart to dick Contrition So let's dance, let's dance, let's go A shocking turn of events. This next song is about supply chain relationships and late stage capitalism. And it goes a little something like this. Or maybe a little bit more like this. Several thousand miles is stretched into my soup can I express I feel as though I almost know your name
Thank you so much. We have two more songs. Um, I just, I just really want to say thanks so much again to Matt and Ryan for hosting us here. This is about as special as a show could possibly be. Yeah. <laughs> I once saw a sunset so vivid and warm that I swore it was perfect. I once had a lover, I'm not sure if I'll recover, but I know it was worth it. Then last night in the car, the falling raindrops looked like stars at some incalculable speed. Then later my friend said, good to see you again. This is a home to me So I wrote a song And called it the love of my life I said don't be gone long And now it sings me to sleep every night And I never learned a lesson Looking at my own reflection But sometimes it seems useful so I loosen my heartstrings and high hopes of starting to find something truthful. Cynicism isn't wisdom. It's a lazy way to say that you've been burned. Seems like anything you learn is certain after everything you ever learned. experimenting with cynicism as a form of wisdom and I think that it has a lot of useful lessons I do I do <laughs> I do but we can talk about that more later too the last song thank you so much
much for everyone. I think so the Lewis brothers for having us. And Bagu for going with us. One more. One more? Half more. No more.